Welcome everybody, this is Tim Gayash once again. Late November 2012. We're looking at Mary here in this video. Mary is another young gal from the group. Only 18 years old, I believe. And Mary is a textbook. If you want to see what a potassium phosphate deficiency looks like, look at Mary. Um, I have to add that this photo is a bit pixelated because I had to enhance it. It was a cell phone picture or a computerized picture. It was low quality picture regardless. And I enhanced it. Mary does not really look like this. Um, poor old Mary, 18 years old. You know that's when they're sensitive and I went and, and uh, exaggerated her imperfections in, in her in the skin and, and structure of her face. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get into this and, and show you how, if, if, if you, really, if I were, were to create a dictionary, I'd put a, a dictionary and want to put potassium phosphate deficiency, I'd put her picture right there. Uh, because she has every, almost every facial symptom, except those which are, are uh, omitted by her, her, her oh, the political correctness, ethnicity, her, her, because she's from Asian descent. So one of the facial signs is to have the, the gray iris, but you're not going to see a gray iris in an Asian person or somebody with from Asian descent. Uh, so you're definitely not going to see that in Mary. Uh, but let's just talk about the, the deficiencies, uh, the signs of, of deficiency where you, what you would see in the face. And the first would be an absent expression, and I'm just going to run through them. And you yourselves can look at this at th this photo of Mary and tell me whether if you see what what I'm about to read off and list off here for you. Um, gray ash skin, a brown coating of the tongue, a dry tongue, a gray ocular part, which of course you're not going to see again because of her Asian descent. Uh, you're not going to see the. Uh, bleeding gums or halitosis, periodontitis, uh, teeth and gum issues. Um, but what you are going to see are the sunken temples. If you look at the corner of her eyes, you'll see the indents. And what you another thing you're going to see is uh, acne or ac acne. We're acne in the ch chin area, and you'll see it right here and here. Uh, when acne is acne in the chin and jawline is a hormonal imbalance issue that that's what it signifies or indicates but when it's only in the chin issue it's more specific of a potassium phosphate deficiency and this is so true uh, of Mary here now another th another indicator uh, of a potassium phosphate deficiency is this staining around the lips and I don't know if I blow it up, whether that's going to distort it. If I can blow it up, here we are. I don't know if you can see that, but they're staining around the lips. I'll maybe back out might help a little. I'm not sure if you can see it, but they're staining right along here. This is potassium phosphate as well. Now, Mary is young. She's only 18 years old. so. The symptoms or signs, facial signs of deficiency, are not going to be as prominent as they would be in somebody, say, who is 30 years old or 40 years old, 50 years old, who's gone decades uh, with a deficiency. The facial signs and symptoms would be given an opportunity to progress and exaggerate with t with time. So. Let's talk about potassium phosphate for a second. Potassium phosphate is a, a, the, a brain and nerve nutrient. Uh, it also is a nutrient of the muscles and regulates the blood. Uh, it's most common, common uses and, and now we'll talk a bit about the body and, and how this affects the body. But most commonly, uh, if you're deficient in potassium phosphate, you typically will suffer from a bit of exhaustion and, and like your sleep a little too much. Uh, impulsive, uh, weak, in, one of those impulse buyers, impulsive weakness, 
uh, somebody who gives in to peer pressure, somebody who, a, a follower, more of a follower. Uh, and I know I, I hate saying, talking about personality issues when it's with, with somebody so young. Uh, but sleeplessness will, may be another issue. Uh, she may have trouble sleeping at times. Uh, and this would be a, also be an indicative of uh, potassium phosphate. Uh, the, the issues with potassium phosphate and why she needs to take care of this uh, are that if you're deficient you become prone and highly susceptible to mononucleosis. Mononucleosis then then you're looking at, at that to convert to the Epstein-Barr virus and al although that's not something that is uh, critical to life it's not something that anybody wants to live with. Uh, other body signs, or let's let's stick with uh, constitutional signs. Uh, people with potassium phosphate deficiencies uh, also tend to talk in their sleep, sleepwalk, sleep eat. Uh, that is that is typical of somebody with a potassium phosphate deficiencies deficiency. Again, the, the inclination to addiction or I impulsiveness. Uh, I'm actually going down my list. It doesn't take rejection well. Uh, those are the main ones. What I listed was the main ones. If I have to refer to the list, they're, they're really uncommon. So we'll, we'll, stick, we'll stick with the main ones. But now with the physical body, she's also going to become prone to rough and dry skin, uh, yeast infections. She'll also become, her body will become acidic, acidic an acidic body uh, blocks the assimilation or uptake of nutrients uh, because, of course, acidity equates to inflammation. Um, Oh, there is one more thing in the constitutional part that I missed, and it was something I did want to touch on a bit. And don't kill me for this, Mary, but people who have a potassium sulfate, or sorry, phosphate deficiency, <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble for this, folks, uh, are typically hypochondriacs, way over-concerned with, the, with their health, and they, they're almost fixated on it. Uh, it consumes them a little too much. Uh, when you think of hypochondriac, don't don't necessarily think of, of somebody who sh who needs to be uh, hospitalized because of it. But this is somebody who who worries a little too much about their their health. It can be a little or it can be a lot. Uh, hypochondriac may be may be an exaggerated term, but in general, people who have a potassium phosphate deficiency are people wind up as a result of the deficiency being overly concerned with their health and health issues um, I just want to get back to that for a second so she <laughs> I, I kind of wandered off of it because I, I wasn't sure whether I would say it or not and whether Mary's going to write me a nasty email after she sees this video uh, but because the potassium phosphate is a nutrient of nerves, brain, and muscle. She can expect if she can if this continues to have issues with sciatica, neuralgia, uh, possibly fibromyalgia. She may be making herself prone when you're, you're talking in anything inflammation of the nerves. If you're not feeding them properly, if your diet is not including enough potassium phosphate, um, and I'd like to touch one more time on something about this this particular variation of potassium. Uh, potassium phosphate is very different from potassium chloride. Potassium chloride is what you would get if you went to a hospital and you had low potassium levels. They would supplement you with potassium chloride. Uh, potassium phosphate is very different uh, in that it, it is a phosphate, it is specific to the, ner the nervous system, brain, and muscles, and mus muscular, muscular skeletal system. So th they're two very different things. So you can't just run out and buy a potassium 
uh, supplement and expect to get potassium phosphate. It, the only way you're going to get it is through uh, biochemics or, or tissue salts, trace minerals. Um, th this is the issue. Now I'm going to go through, before I finish with this, and just uh, go through the, the signs and point them out to you one time. Excuse my sniffing. I have a bit of morning allergies. My wood furnace is going this morning. And I, as I told you about the staining, staining on the lips, potassium phosphate, the indenta indentations which are visible here and that's because of cross, the, the way it's lighted, you can see it better on this side. The indentations at the temple, again potassium phosphate, a grayish tone to her skin which is evident here. But when you look out here, there's reddish, uh, reddish redness in the cheeks. Again, potassium phosphate. Because potassium phosphate will regulate acidity in the body, it will also, that, 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 that's all, you're also talking an issue. Whenever you talk acidity, you're talking inflammation. The biggest issue of acidity, in my opinion, is inflammation. Uh, so you're, ta you're talking inflammation. We spoke about the issues here in the chin with the acne. Acne in the chin only, not going to the jawline, not going anywhere else. If it's present to the chin only, and I do see that she has a couple on her nose, that's fine. Uh, but it's most prominent in, in the chin area. Again, potassium phosphate. Uh, again, poster child. Literal poster child for uh, potassium phosphate deficiency. Uh, we have the sunken temples. I think we, we've covered we covered them all, but because Mary is young, and I think seem to have finished this awful quickly, and I thought it was going to take me a long, long time to get through. Uh, I guess not. Uh, I, I'll talk a couple, but a couple more of Mary's things, Mary's issues in a second. When you see the hyperpigmentation in her face, and I didn't touch on that sp sp for a reason because I wanted to touch solely of the potassium phosphate deficiencies. Uh, you're also seeing adrenal fatigue here. I just want to go, go with it. Uh, the adrenal fatigue here. Uh, nephrotic weakness and adrenal weakness is also an issue. Can, can be, not always, can be an issue of a potassium phosphate deficiency. Hyperpigmentation. Brown, brown spotting, not yellow spotting. Yellow spotting, you're talking liver. Brown spotting, now not this, This is we're talking about a birthmark here, but we're not over here. And it, it's really, really hard to see. Um, you're ta this hyperpigmentation is, is a birthmark. Over here is not birthmark. You're, you're looking you're looking at, at, at uh, kidney spots. Um, ki they call them kidney spots, liver spots, sun spots, age spots, whatever you want. They're, they're brown, they're brown, almost freckle-like, but freckles are not as dar dark as in 90% of the cases are not as dark as uh, ki kidney spots. Nephrotic weakness, or kidney weakness, sorry, is it is provoked by a deficiency of potassium phosphate. I know, and I know many of you out there, if anybody of you know, anybody knows somebody on dialysis who's going through kidney failure, who, who, who has a kidney issue, has, has a low, low kid, kidney kidney function. Their doctors have told them to stay away from sodium. They've told them to stay away from phosphates. Um, eat their carbs. Uh, just just so that you know, we have, we have a gal in our private group who had a kidney that was dead. Uh, the, the kidney that was dead, uh, I treated her with phosphates, sodium, and potassium, sorry, and potassium. Go figure. Uh, potassium, the three things that an, a nephrologist will tell you not to, not to ingest and to, to minimize, regulate, uh, or you're going to kill your kidneys. Well, those are the same three things that I treated uh, Michelle with, the, the other gal from the group whose kidney was dead, and it was scheduled. They were trying to schedule to remove it. Um, after about five or six weeks of the treatment which I gave her, uh, she was taken to the hospital with pain in, in her uh, lower quadrant of her right back, a 
of her back, right side, lateral right. Uh, she, after, after they did scans and tests, they found that uh, her kidney, that it was, it was nothing serious, it was just kidney stones uh, being forced out of the kidney by the, by the kidneys, which wouldn't have been such a big deal, except that was the, it was coming from the kidney that was supposed to be completely dead and was scheduled to be removed. And that's in only five or six weeks after her doctors told her not to take uh, phosphates, potassium, or sodium. And that is what I actually treated her with. Now, don't go grab your salt box and dump and start chewing on bananas. Different types of potassium, different types of phosphates, different types of sodium. It's not the same thing. But let's get back, back, back to uh, Mary here. Um, Mary, again, Mary has all of the symptoms. Because she is young, I'd love to teach her how to take care of herself now to identify her symptoms, and Mary does have a great interest in it because she has that little bit of hypochondria going on. Again, don't kill me, Mary. Um, so if we can teach them when, while they're young, and, and for those of you who've seen either the public or my private, my private Facebook groups, uh, I've been talking about that lately and how I'd like to start a group for youth. Uh, because if we can teach youth today to be proactive in their health and natural, nobody, pl please don't get me wrong, allopathy needs to exist, uh, but we need to coexist together. Uh, we need to be respected more, and I believe that we need to respect them a little more and be open minded. Uh, Again, I've, I've gotten into all that. I'm, I'm getting a little wandered, wandering off track a little here, so I'll, I'll stay away from that. But I'll just stick with the part that Mary is, where she's only 18, if we can teach Mary to not follow the, the patterns, the cycles, the, 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 the don't follow history, don't, don't repeat history, don't keep the same issues going on, uh, if she takes care of herself now, she can provide a long, a long and healthy life full of vitality. But she, if she, if she does it now, if she waits t till till I did, as I tell you all, I'm the biggest hypocrite on the face of this earth. I don't sit here and put myself up on the pedestal and tell you all that uh, uh, I, I follow all of my own advice. I don't. Uh, I, I am a hypocrite uh, at times and with with some issues. Um, but if we can teach people young, instead of doing what I did and, and waiting till I was what, 38 or so before I got into natural medicine uh, and found found the interest and, and knew the difference, uh, if I had known that at her age, what a different life I would have led up till now. Even if it did not provide longevity, additional longevity of, of my life, it definitely would have uh, increase the quality of my life up until now had I have known the difference. So that's what I'm hoping to be able to pass on to Mary uh, and that she takes care of her potassium phosphate deficiency now so that all of these issues and there is, there is I believe it's 138 issues uh, some chronic some acute issues that can that can be provoked by a deficiency in potassium phosphate. So if Mary takes care of that now, she'll be taking care of her, care of her own future. That's all for now. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.